I know we don't always pay attention during the amendment debate, but I hope my colleagues do, because Michiganders deserve better than have paying private companies with our taxpayer dollars to secretly collect our data of our internet viewing habits, of how we're choosing to make online purchases, or other private consumer data to then turn around and sell. If my colleagues are concerned with the public subsidies of private companies, if my colleagues are concerned about picking winners and losers, if my colleagues are concerned about making sure that we're protecting our personal privacy, then they should be concerned about the amendment and supportive in front of them. Right now, the general government budget subsidizes the development of rural broadband, but we allow no restrictions to make sure that when people take our taxpayer dollars, that they actually then have to respect the data and the privacy that then are utilized through those services. The amendment before you is simple. It has two parts. The first one says that you're not going to just take our taxpayer dollars and then disclose, sell, or permit third-party access to a customer's personal information without consent of that customer. And the second part of that being that you, if you support net neutrality, that you're not going to then allow those private companies to pick which sites you get to look at. But furthermore, the second part of this amend amendment is very clear. That if companies are taking our taxpayer dollars, that they must not impair or degrade the lawful internet traffic of its public safety customer accounts during a state of emergency. And Mr. Speaker, let me tell you why this is important in the budget. Currently, the, the budget that is before us has no funding and a cut to enhance public safety systems. This amendment then is critical because it ensures that private companies will not throttle internet traffic during a state of emergency. We don't have to look back very far to see in California this very situation occurring where a private company was turning down internet traffic during the wildfires, risking the health and safety of plenty of people in the state of California. So this one is clear. It just says you can't do that in the state of emergency. Both of these are common sense amendments. Both of these should be bipartisan. And so with that, I urge my colleagues to support these amendments. The question on the adoption of the amendment, the clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted. <laughs>